Stepdad hid camera in my room and I found it. Now I don't know how to tell mom. For context, my relationship with my stepdad hasn't always been the best. He said a lot of questionable things in the past that I've often tried to brush off. But what happened recently has turned my world upside down. So I, 21 female, found a spy camera in my room after my stepdad, 36 male, installed security cameras around our house. He installed one camera positioned outside of my window to scan our backyard, while he, my mom, and two younger brothers go on vacation, saying it was to keep an eye on the backyard. At that time, I didn't see anything wrong with him positioning one outside my window. However, the very next day, everything changed. My boyfriend came over to keep me company, and he's the one who made the discovery. He found that the camera outside my window wasn't just aimed at the backyard. It was running into my room, powered by a spy camera disguised as a power block. The camera was positioned to have a direct view of my entire room, including the spot where I changed clothes. My mind raced as I tried to make sense of this. He's been in my life since I was eight years old. Of course, I'm second-guessing everything now that I've found this camera positioned having direct view of my entire room. I tried desperately to rationalize it wanting to believe it was a mistake, that maybe my stepdad had grabbed the wrong charger, or was simply trying to ensure our safety. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized there was no justification for placing a camera in my bedroom. The camera even had an SD card, indicating it was recording everything. I'm beyond devastated. Adding to my confusion, my stepdad had actually suggested I invite my boyfriend over while they were gone, which was unusual. He's always been strict about not having my boyfriend over when no one else is home, citing concerns about us being intimate. This sudden change in his attitude now seemed suspicious, as if he had set this up deliberately. My boyfriend and I are going to go through the SD card to see if there is anything on it. I'm at a complete loss at how to even bring this up to my mom. Feeling overwhelmed, I reached out to my aunt and uncle who live nearby. They've always been supportive, and they encouraged me to talk to my mom about the situation. This was the hardest part for me. I knew this revelation would shatter our family, especially since my mom has a five-year-old son with my stepdad. But I also knew I couldn't stay silent. My mind is racing with the consequences this is going to have on our family. Has anyone that has been in a similar situation have advice? How can I do this without causing extreme damage to the family? Update when I want to make a new update when my parents get back Monday, but I want to thank everyone for all the advice. After much thinking, I decided to go to the police. That night, I went to the station and filed a report, handing over the spy camera and the SD card. The officer I spoke to took the situation very seriously and assured me that an investigator would likely contact me soon due to the severity of the offense. I felt a small sense of relief, knowing that steps were being taken to address this violation. I'm planning on telling my mother about the police report after we have a conversation about this on Monday, with my aunt and uncle present. For my own safety, I stayed with my boyfriend that night. As for people messaging me about my profile, thank you for reminding me to delete personal information. Please, please, do not dox or try to seek any sort of justice for me as this may affect my case. Respect my privacy during this time, please, as it may be crucial during this investigation. This was the hardest thing I ever had to do, but whatever this shit was, it's ending with me. I hope I can get justice for myself and any other victims who may have been violated by him, since this will be heavily investigated. And the officer said it will likely be looked into further, such as search warrants and looking for more SD cards. The next morning, my boyfriend and I returned to my house to search for more hidden cameras. We wanted to ensure there were no other devices in the bathroom or my brother's rooms. I was hesitant to search my parents' room, fearing there might be another camera that could capture me searching. My aunt offered to help, and we meticulously checked every corner of the house. Again, thank you everyone for the support. 
I'm trying as best I can to do this the right way and get as much done with the time I have left. I'm mentally and emotionally drained, but I'll be seeking resources once all of this is said and done. I'm reading everyone's comments, so I'm taking all the advice I can get. Update 3. I probably won't be able to update for a few days since today is the day that I talked to my mom, but I just wanted to share the plan I made and hopes for what happens today. After talking with my aunt, uncle, boyfriend, and my cousin, who is a civil lawyer, I've decided that I will speak to my mom in a separate location from my stepdad. Most likely, I'll have her meet me somewhere outside of our home. I'll have my aunt with me, and this is where I'll explain everything to her. The camera passed uncomfortable experiences I've had with my stepdad that I originally brushed off because he was my dad. Video footage of him deliberately setting it up and angling it and footage of me in my room. I'm praying she understands why I had to go to my aunt instead of her, considering she was not in town, and I was worried for her safety if I told her what happened. I'm hoping with my aunt there and her being away from my stepdad that it'll prevent her from reacting out of anger and search for him and escalating the situation then and there, and I hope my aunt can provide some support for myself and her. I'm prepared for her to go through the same processes I went through such as reasoning and denial, but with the evidence, there's no possible way she can deny it. I'm preparing myself for the worst. I just hope that I can be strong for her and support her as this all hits her like it did me. I will not be returning home or facing him today. My boyfriend will be on standby to pick up my brothers if needed since my aunt has offered for them to stay with us. So my mom can talk to my stepdad without them there. I'll ask my mom to meet me and, of course, not tell my stepdad about the circumstances. Maybe she can tell him she's going to the grocery store. I don't want him getting any hints that she could be meeting with me. I know I've said it a lot, but I truly do appreciate the support system I have not only with my family, but here too. This has been a nightmare, but hearing everyone's stories about this, proving it's way too common is what is helping me get through this and pushing me to do the right thing. Update 4. It's finally happening. I'm meeting with my mom. My aunt accompanied me for emotional support. When my mom arrived, she was understandably confused and concerned. I took a deep breath and started from the beginning, explaining the camera outside my window and how we discovered it was actually inside my room. I showed her the video footage we found on the SD card, which included clips of my stepdad setting up the camera and adjusting its angle to get a clear view of my entire room. As I spoke, I could see the shock and disbelief on her face. I, I recounted the uncomfortable experiences I'd had with my stepdad in the past moments I'd previously dismissed, but now realized were part of a larger pattern. My mom listened in stunned silence, tears welling up in her eyes. After a long and emotional conversation, my mom finally spoke. She was devastated. Not just for me, but for our entire family. She couldn't believe the man she had married and had a child with could do something so invasive. And disgusting. My mom thanked me for telling her and apologized for not seeing the signs sooner. She promised to support me and take immediate action. We decided that my mom would confront my stepdad later that day, but without me present. My aunt and I would take my brothers to her house, providing a safe space for them, while my mom dealt with my stepdad. My boyfriend also offered to help in any way he could, showing unwavering support through this difficult time. While my mom confronted my stepdad, I stayed at my aunt's house with my brothers. My mom later told me about the confrontation. She had approached him calmly at first, asking about the camera. When he tried to deny it, she presented the evidence, footage of him setting up the camera and the recordings from my room. Faced with undeniable proof, my stepdad broke down. He claimed he installed the camera out of concern for our safety, but his explanation didn't hold up. My mom demanded he leave the house immediately, and he did. The following days were a blur of emotions. 
My mom and I filed for a restraining order against my stepdad and began the process of separating our lives from him. The police investigation continued, and I remained in close contact with the officers handling my case. I also sought therapy to help process the trauma and violation I felt. My mom and I attended sessions together, working through our emotions and rebuilding our relationship. My aunt and uncle provided unwavering support, ensuring that we had a safe place to stay and helping with my brothers. Update 5. The investigation into my stepdad's actions expanded as the police obtained a search warrant for our house. They found additional SD cards and evidence suggesting that he had been spying on me for some time. The case was building against him, and I felt a mix of relief and anger knowing that justice would be served. Throughout this ordeal, the support from friends, family, and even strangers on the internet has been incredible. People shared their own stories of similar experiences, reminding me that I'm not alone and giving me the strength to keep pushing forward. I also became more aware of how common these violations are and decided to use my experience to raise awareness. I started a blog to share my story and provide resources for others who might be going through similar situations. It was therapeutic for me and, hopefully, helpful for others. As the legal proceedings continued, my mom, brothers, and I began to rebuild our lives. We moved into a new house, far from the memories of what had happened. My mom filed for divorce, determined to protect her children and herself from any further harm. We worked on establishing new routines and finding a sense of normalcy. My boyfriend remained a constant source of support, and our relationship grew stronger through the adversity. I also reconnected with old friends and built a new support network, finding solace in the connections I had with others. This experience has been the hardest thing I've ever gone through, but it's also shown me the strength and resilience I possess. I've learned the importance of trusting my instincts and seeking help when something doesn't feel right. I've also seen the power of community and the impact that sharing our stories can have. My journey isn't over, but I'm moving forward with a sense of purpose and hope. I'm committed to advocating for others who have faced similar violations and ensuring that justice is served in my own case. Most importantly, I'm focused on healing and creating a safe, supportive environment for myself and my loved ones. To anyone reading this who might be going through a similar situation, know that you're not alone. Reach out for help. Trust your instincts and remember that it's never too late to seek justice and start anew.